Yes, Logic Pro for iPad 2.1 is here with new sounds, new features, and one of the coolest reverb plugins you're ever going to see. In this video, we're going to take a first look at everything. Let's go. Now there's a heap of new features and improvements that have been made in the new Logic Pro for iPad. We're going to cover 10 of the biggest ones and there's timestamps down in the description if you want to jump around. Let's not bury the lead. Number one, the Quantec Room Simulator. Now this is a digital reverb plugin, but it's based on some pretty amazing technology that's used in pro studios all around the world. In fact, if you want to find out all about it, you can click on the logo here and get the complete backstory of this amazing piece of kit. There's also a lesson here you can check out that has a lot more information and I've got a complete deep dive video into the Quantec Room Simulator linked down below. Let's take a listen to what this can do. We're going to add this as a plugin by going to plugins and tapping audio effects. Now, if we scroll down, it's down here underneath reverb and this one here, the Quantec Room Simulator. And like most plugins, you could adjust it right here, but if we give it a double tap, we get the complete interface. Like most of these plugins, there's a lot going on here, but the cool thing is we've got a bunch of presets that we can check out here. Let's take a listen to this vocal without the room simulator and then with it added. Don't need no people asking questions. Don't need no people asking questions. So out of the gate with just the default preset on there, it sounds pretty cool. There's so many things that we can play with here. Let's take a listen to another couple of presets to change those. We tap on default preset and we've got a whole bunch of presets to choose from. Small rooms, medium rooms, large rooms, and some of the classic presets here. Let's try a small room to start with. Let's jump into a bright booth. I take my own advice, it always sets me straight. And you can see here that this is using the yardstick version of the Quantec as opposed to the Q. This is more for your spoken word and your voiceover, but you can also use it with your music as well. If we go back and let's try a medium room this time and let's jump into the club and you can see here that now it's using the QRS. Let's see what it sounds like. Don't need no people asking questions. So you get that tighter, smaller sort of sound there. What about a large room? And look, who hasn't wanted to sing in a forest expanse? Don't want no extra information. So you can hear that every different sound dials in different settings here. And of course you can tweak these and change the different amounts of reverb and the different tones you're getting in here. It is such a cool plugin. I've got a feeling it's gonna go on a lot of my tracks and maybe even my entire masters, the Quantec Room Simulator. Number two is a huge quality of life improvement. Now, not only can you change the order of your tracks here in the main window, if you jump into your mixer, yeah, you guessed it. You can now change the order of your tracks right here in the mixer. A simple change, but something that's going to be very well received, I'm sure. Number three, we can now also reorder plugins right here in the plugins area. By tapping, holding, and dragging, we can move plugins around and change the order. Now, you used to be able to do this, but you had to go into edit mode and then move it and then go back into your regular mode. So this just makes it much quicker and simpler when you want to reorder your plugins. Number four is a big one, and that is that we can can now add folders of samples, loops, and sounds right here into the Logic Pro for iPad browser. No more split screen, no more slide over, no more dragging and dropping from the files app. It's now as simple as tapping on this one, add sample folders. Now we just tap on the choose folder button here and I'm actually gonna add in my GarageBand for iPad file transfer folder. So we'll hit open there and like magic, it's been added in here. If we tap on that one, check it out. All of these are right here. They are all previewable right from within here. And you can use them in your projects by simply dragging and dropping. A huge improvement and something that I know a lot of folks are gonna be very happy to see. And yes, you can add more folders and it will keep things organized. If we tap in the bottom right here, we can add another sample folder. This time I'm gonna select this, the sound effects and recordings folder, hit open. And like magic, I've got another folder there. Now these are on my iCloud drive, so they will need to be downloaded before we can use them in a project, but that's another cool feature. You can also flatten these out. So once you have multiple folders, you can flatten it out so you can see everything in one view, or if you want that organizational, say you've got samples that are drums and other samples that are bass, etc., you can have them separate. So this is going to be such a handy feature. Number five, we've had improvements to the bounce in place. So now when you tap, tap again and go to bounce and join, if we bounce in place this region, you can see that we've now 
now got the destination here. We can do it on the selected track or we can bounce things down to a new track, which is a super handy way to go. You can also decide whether you want one file per track or one file per region. It's just a really easy and convenient way if you're trying to bounce down or get those tracks down into audio files. Number six, have you ever had the problem where you accidentally move a track and instead of it lining up with the other tracks, it's now out there by itself? Well, now we've got to solve for that. We can now actually copy and paste both the length as well as the start and finish for a region. Let's show you how. First, let's tap on the track we want to copy from and tap on our inspector. We're then going to tap on the details here and check this out. We can now actually tap and hold on this position and hit copy. Now, when we go to this region, we can actually tap and hold on position again and hit paste and like magic, it goes right back to that exact same start point. Now, when they're at the start of a bar, it's not that big a deal, but if you've ever had those floating tracks and you want it to start at exactly the right time, well, now you can do that. And you can also do the same with the length by tapping, holding and copying and pasting. It's just another nice little quality of life improvement. Number seven is related to our session players. Now, session players were a huge addition to version two, and no, we don't have any new instruments just yet. However, they have made one change, which is that the regenerate button here used to be called perform again. It's now called regenerate, which I guess makes more sense considering these are virtual players as opposed to actual people that can perform, but just a small change there that you may notice. Number eight is related to looping. Now, as well as being able to loop a track by just tapping and dragging it out like that, you can now loop directly from the shortcut menu automatically. So to do that, we tap on an item here, go to edit, and then tap on loop, and there you go. It's gonna loop out that item right up to the end of your project. It's not always what you're going to want, but it's a nice addition to looping here in Logic Pro. Oh, and if you do this by accident like I have, and you're wondering why undo won't help, well, you just need to come in here, go back to edit, and tap on loop again, and it will go back to the individual region. Number nine, there's been a big overhaul to the lessons. Now, these are super underutilized and underrated, but if you go to a new project here in Logic Pro, you'll You'll see that we have all of the original lessons here plus some brand new ones added. If you tap the show more button, you'll get all of the lessons and they've also added progress bars. So instead of just saying tick or no tick, you'll actually know the ones that you've started and haven't quite finished yet as well. The two lessons that I suggest you check out is this one, what's new in Logic Pro 2.1, though I've shown you a lot of that right now. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see there's also a lesson here about the Quantec Room Simulator if you want to know more about that. And Last, but by no means least, what would a Logic Pro update be without a new sound pack? So if we tap over here in our library and tap on get more sounds, you'll see that we have this one, the Modular Melodies Synth Pack. If you loved the Modular Rhythms drum pack, you're gonna really dig this one. We've got over 250 Apple Loops and more than 20 Alchemy Synth Patches as well. Let's take a listen to the preview. Very nice indeed. To get this one, all we need to do is hit the get button. That'll download and be available for you to use in your projects. So what do you think about this new Logic Pro 2.1 update? The Quantec Room Simulator sounds fantastic. We've got some great quality of life improvements. We've got those new sounds and my favorite new feature, the sample folder. Sometimes the simple things are often the best. If you'd like to learn a heap more about this new update, as well as how to create, record and release your best music in Logic Pro for iPad, check out all the other videos that down in the description and I'll see you next time.